<laughs> there's nobody here but hey everybody <laughs> how y'all doing as usual i'm gonna take a moment for everyone to get on in here we have a good one today I'm just adding um, some people here. I'm just sharing some things. Welcome, welcome. Uh, what am I doing? I'm always doing that. Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. This is a good one. So y'all start inviting people in. Start sharing this. This is um, some great information for you guys. Parents and aunties uncles whoever all right all right hey welcome welcome i'm gonna just get right to it i don't really need an audience i just i need to get this out um these messages they come to us and we we gotta share and we gotta let them on out so that's what I'm doing here. Um, so this video is called The New Wave of Parenting. And I put the new in um, little marks because, you know, these are some of the practices that our ancestors have been utilizing for how many years, right? We don't even know. Um, so it's not necessarily new. I just wanted to identify the fact that it's it's like it's being rebirthed right now. Things are transforming in as far as parenting goes. So I wanted to highlight that. And this video um, was actually inspired by my previous video. Um, you know who you are, now what? You know, and that's on my YouTube channel, Nature Girl Neil. Check it out, like, share, and subscribe if it resonates with you. Um, and, and in that video, I was talking about there's, there's things that we're doing, th there's things that we can do that will benefit our children. One of those is, uh, astrology, studying your birth chart, getting the birth charts done for your child. And there was one beautiful sister up there, shout outs to her, peace and love to her, who mentioned the fact that she pulled her children's birth reports, both birth reports. I believe she has three three beautiful children and uh three or four and she pulled birth which birth chart reports for those children and you know and it, it really inspired me again and it also tied in with what i was sharing with another friend of mine um about this new age parenting or this new type of parenting that is taking place um, and I, I was talking to this friend like months ago now about this. So the fact that it came up again um, just a few days ago is was really an indication for me to come on here and um, make a whole separate video about this topic. So let's get into it, okay? <laughs> so a new wave of parenting. We're finding that in this time and space right now, we're being called to transform ourselves. A lot of us are going through a transformation. Hey, welcome, welcome, beautiful Taishia. Thanks for coming in. Um, we're being called to practice self-mastery. We're being called in this time to, to up our spirituality. Um, because these are the times that we're in. Um, it's being asked of us to really invest in self, self-love, self-mastery. Um, and, and utilizing these ancient tools to do so. So that can come in through astrology, meditation, um, studying your ancestry, um, divination, uh, so many different aspects in this spirituality uh, journey. And as it applies to children, as it applies to parenting, it's like, okay, first off, let's, let's take a couple steps back. First off, you really want to dive into your self-mastery, y'all. Children or no children, auntie or no auntie, dive into mastering yourself and what you have going on. Pour your love into self. Um, Self-mastery can most definitely be done with studying your shadow work. If you don't know what that is, definitely Google it so you can get the full picture. But it's really tapping into past and childhood traumas and experiences that have a huge effect on you right now. You know, things that can be holding you back from... Um, physical growth spiritual growth mental growth whatever so we're really being called to do our shadow work 
Um, we're really being called to monitor our thoughts. Make sure your thoughts are your own and you're not like being spiritually hijacked by a lower level entity or parasite or whatever. Um, and um, again, like y'all know me by now, I write some things down because if I don't, it's gone and I'm on to the next topic, okay? Um, we're really being called to um, take care of our health. And that was something that I went through. I went through a major transformation. I'm still going through it, y'all. Um, I fast a lot. You know, if you guys saw my videos a couple weeks ago, I was a lot slimmer. It's because I did a week-long fast, a 10-day fast. And I do not fast for weight loss. I fast for spiritual connection and for health. So that was really for that. And when I started eating my regular fruits and vegetables, I put some pounds back on, which I'm cool with. It's not a competition for me. Um, but we're being called to fast, detox our body, cleanse our system, really, really pursuing our goals and the things that we are passionate about. This is the time to do that. Like cosmically, spiritually, we being, um, excuse me, we're being um, called to do these things. And as that applies to parenting, once you're set, it, it really, like I say all the time, once you know yourself, it gives you the ability to know other people like nothing can be hidden from you like you will be everything is transparent for you especially if you're an awakened being everything is transparent it's very hard for someone to deceive you for information to deceive you um and so you want to apply these same things to your children okay and you know i had someone tell me well you're not a parent so you don't know what you're talking about actually i'm spiritually connected like a motherfucker spirit tells me everything i need to know okay um i can tap into you and know things like just naturally not being invasive but just getting the, the just getting the message of you it's just look it's just how my shit is set up i can tap into your kid and know exactly what your child needs it's just it's just how this shit is set up with me so i have that gift a lot of y'all have these gifts as well like you don't have to actually go through an experience to know everything you need to know about that experience it's the same with this. Like, I've been able to tell people things about their children that they do not know. And that is never to toot my own horn. That's just to share with you what it is. And that you guys potentially have the same ability. So tap into that. Um, so, yeah, so that's my answer to people. I am not a parent in this life, in this time and space, right here, right now. But I know a lot about parenting. I know a lot um, when it comes into connecting with spirit so that I can give parents these messages or whoever is you don't even have to be a parent I can still tap in to give you a certain message as in you guys can do the same thing so that this is why I'm here all right so you want to get your children's birth charts done all right thanks for the love beautiful you want to get your children's um astrology done Pull day birth charts is free out here. I offer this service through my website, tiarasharday.com. I supply you with strategies and interpretations. You don't have to go through the whole paperwork. You just get straight to it, and I give you a game plan to go with it. I also need you to know that these things are free. Tap into it. We're in the information age, y'all. We're in the information age. We're born into this age for a divine purpose. We have access to all this knowledge. There is no excuse for us not to tap in and you have beautiful people such as myself and others that i see online all the time we're here to remind you of that tap into who you are and tap into this ancient and divine wisdom that can be found on platforms such as google that's it <laughs> like it's really don't be ashamed that you gotta pull up youtube for information like what that's silly this information is here to really confirm your inner knowing so tap into that Get your birth chart done. Get your get your birth chart done and get every single one of your children's birth chart done. Oh, thanks for the love, Ayana and, and my Mayat. I hope I'm saying your name, my Mayat. Thank you so much, love. I see you around. She spreads love. Make sure you follow these people who spread knowledge and love and light out here, y'all. So she's one of them. There's a few of them in here. Um, part of me, sometimes I really get so into what I'm saying and, and feeling that I sometimes... Don't pay attention to the comments, but I really appreciate y'all love and all of y'all who are in here. Um, so really tap in, get the, get the birth charts done, y'all. Astrology is everything in this realm, in this time and place on this planet. We're living on a planet, 
You want to tap into the planets that were out and open and available during the time of your birth. It's it's really, and astrology is divine science, y'all. I've read that somewhere and I'm like, yo, it is divine science. Like, duh, I couldn't have put it more perfectly than that. Astrology is divine science. Tap into that. If you're a parent, get your children's birth chart pulled. It's going to tell you exactly how to communicate with them, exactly how to love them in the way that they need to be loved. It is it is it is share with you their divine purpose. It is share with you their life's purpose. Um, so you you're going to want to tap in many believe since we're not yet parents. We can't. Oops, I can't get to the rest. We can't provide evolutionary clarity for parents sis <laughs> okay it really has nothing to do with you know being a parent it really just has to do with tapping into source source is gonna give you that message to give to that parent to give to that child and that's just the way this shit is set up you know y'all gotta take the lesson for what it is and try try to take your ego and pride out of it that's not what it's about it's about unity and it's about spreading that love that's it it's about spreading light and love period so so that's what we're here for absolutely thank you um so yeah so they're studying the birth chart will tell you exactly what they need um how to love them it'll tell you their life's purpose so that you can set them up right here and right now i don't care if they're one years old i don't care if they're 10 get their birth chart report birth chart report pulled see i can't even speak sometimes because things just be ooh. i be passionate with this shit <laughs> get their birth chart report pulled so that you can set them up if you know they excel in communications and in in written messages set them up so that they can communicate and and can be an author or can write or express themselves if you see that they're highly inclined for some transcendent music or you know what i'm saying they're a musical genius set them up to express that that is a part of their divinity that is a part of their life and their soul's purpose so as a parent you're responsible for not only yourself but you're responsible for your child so you're gonna want to tap into these things that are here for you to tap into to make your life and your child's most importantly your child's life better you know you really want to give them the knowledge and the tools that we didn't have like i didn't grow up really understanding or, well i uh, how do I say this? Because I understood a lot as a child. I, I just now started to apply certain things. But I didn't, I guess I could say, I didn't really understand the impact astrology has on each of us. And how it really is a beautiful way to get to who you are on a spiritual and a divine level. So tap into that, y'all. Like, I cannot emphasize that enough. I think in every single one of my videos, I'm repping astrology. Because it really man it really is and it also is a sign of an awakened being too when you have some sort of knowledge of astrology or some sort of knowledge of um the cosmos you're an awakened being because it's innate it's just in you it just has to be awakened within you so tap into that um what else did i write their life path number their life path number um let's go back a little bit with astrology their midheaven their north node especially will tell you a little bit or well, a lot about their uh, soul's purpose and i also get this information from multiple resources y'all like at least 15 different websites about one aspect of my birth chart <laughs> and that's just me like i'm like really um i like to research i really like to investigate things you guys may not need or desire to get multiple resources about one thing and that's that's perfectly fine do what suits you um and uh so yeah so that's what i have to say about that the life path number will basically give a general outline of why they're here as well uh there's a lot of information in that life path um and this goes for you and your child or your niece or your grandchild or whatever any children that are in your life okay so as i'm saying this um to you for your child this applies to you okay get your astrology meditate get your life path number study your north node and your midheaven um especially right now y'all like 
<laughs> the way the planets are working right now and these divine energies and these light codes coming in. Ooh. <laughs> Bruh, tap the fuck in, okay? <laughs> tap the fuck in, y'all. It's here for us to tap in right now. And what it is, it, it gives you the knowledge right now. It's It gives you an advantage. So you know, like, okay, so these planets are going to be activated when Venus goes retrograde, which is going retrograde October 5th, 8th, October 5th. So you know in your birth chart, these certain planets are going to be activated. That gives you an advantage. So you could be like, all right, so I need to do this, this, and this in order to fulfill this part of my soul's purpose or this part of whatever I got going on. So you're really going to want to tap in, y'all. Tap in. Um, meditation, if, yoga, if you like yoga, working out. Um, I'm new to this meditation thing. Like, I believe a beautiful oracle. There's so many oracles that pop into my life. I love them so much. A beautiful oracle told me last year to meditate that my ancestors were actually calling me to, uh, towards meditation in order to connect with me. And as soon as I meditated, y'all. It was lit. <laughs> it was like a reunion in that bitch. Like, I'm telling y'all, do that. Meditate. Meditate. Um, and set your intention. So I'm meditating for clarity. I'm meditating for balance. I'm meditating to connect with my ancestors of light and love, okay? Um, make it clear what you're doing. If you guys do yoga, yoga uh, do your yoga. I don't do yoga quite as much as I'd like to. I need to get into that more. I do work out now. Um, a lot of my weight loss journey, if you guys were paying attention, I was saying um, I wasn't really working out that much. I'm starting to work out now and I'm not really consistent. So, you know, this message is for me and y'all, okay, um, to work out. And that really helps you as well as your children um, tap into their, their vessel. Yes, because my children love to dance. Yeah, Marie. That's beautiful. That's working out. And also dance is a spiritual thing, right? It's, it's our soul is moving our physical. So that's beautiful. Um, yeah, any physical activity, any physical activity um, helps you and your child chat, tap into their body, to their vessel. So it's really a, a full, uh, a well-rounded, a full circle thing, Um Excuse me, I was stumbling with my words. I was just thinking of something as I was talking. But it really is um, a whole package. Mental, physical, spiritual. Um, so you, so you want to make sure they do that. Um, and consciously eating. A lot of y'all know my journey as well. I'm a big girl. I'm a retired big girl now, y'all. But I st I'm still a big girl at heart. I still got these cheeks, okay? So um, I can tell you what switching my behaviors with eating has done for me you can see the receipts all over the place i tell on myself in every single video and photo so you can see what conscious eating has done for me so you're really going to want to do that especially with when you're ch with your children um make sure they're eating those fruits and vegetables y'all i say this a lot in every video again because it had such a profound impact on me mentally physically and spiritually when i started eating those fruits it was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. like messages just started coming like that fruit started talking to me y'all like so i tell people yo eat the fruits and vegetables it is solidified sunlight okay your children don't like meat yeah i mean look they they're awakened beings i say this all the time i've always loved children i've always been able to identify something in the ch child uh in children and i'm realizing it was their divinity it was that god essence that i just saw and it drew me to them it drew me to protect them and to love them and be patient and to learn from children learn from them okay so i want to say that like we out here giving birth to to walking gods to to the personification of gods the personification of the divine we're birthing ascended masters in the flesh our children okay their souls can be way older than ours their souls can outrank ours so you really want to be mindful with with your children with these children out here be kind don't disrespect them show them love because you don't know who whose um, presence you're in 
you know, regardless, with everyone, do this. Show love and compassion. Don't let anybody walk on you. But especially with, this, with these children out here. And right now, in this time and place, like, you think you're going through something, a transformation or an activation or an awakening? Yo, these children are out here going through shit, too. So be mindful of that. Um, and for the parents out there, especially be mindful. You may think you're teaching your child, but you need to take a step back and learn something from these children. Because they're really here to teach you, okay? Um, so yeah, we're birthing divinity. We're birthing the personification of the divine with these children. So you're going to want to do your research on them. A lot of these children are already born with inner knowing. Like, with with my experience um, as a child, I knew a lot of shit that I probably shouldn't have known or, or my um, parents or the adults around me wouldn't think I knew. But it's just the way my shit is set up. So, you know, children right now, the smaller children right now, man, they, I'm positive that they outrank me. And I'm cool with that. <laughs> I'm absolutely cool with that. Because we, each of us has a divine purpose and a divine role. Whether we look at it as good or evil, doesn't matter. That's their purpose, that's their role. Both both sides are needed to create balance and harmony in this world, on this planet. So take it for what it is. Um, and again, this, you know, this is not a competition, this is not a race. You know, everything happens in divine timing, in divine alignment. So know that you're exactly where you need to be. You're at the level you're exactly supposed to be at according to what you signed up for. You know, um, a lot of us awakened beings, we've been here before. We've been <clears throat> to, excuse me, we've been to different planets th throughout time and space. So we signed that contract that said, okay, I'm going to get these certain gifts at this point, or I'm going to do this at this age. I'm going to start this business right here in this time for this purpose. So it's not a competition. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're right where we need to be. I, I felt the need to say that. Um, yeah. So, what else did I write? Pardon me. I'm just looking at my little notebook, y'all. I have like 80 of these. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, again, with the conscious eating, make sure they're being fed life. Like, there's a lot of parents out here who are vegan or plant-based, but they let their children eat meat and to each their own. But if you're eating plant-based for spirituality and you're allowing your child to eat meat, you might want to revisit that line of thinking a little bit. No judgment. Just <laughs> make sure you know your intention with that because that's important. You, you, If you feed yourself life, you want to feed every person around you life right it's it's it kind of goes like that like if i'm only eating fruits and vegetables why would i feed somebody cheese and eggs it really you know what i'm saying it's about spreading love light balance peace harmony all these great things so so be that do that walk that talk that um what else did i write i also wrote to clean house um, I'm a healer. I heal two people with cancer and one sickle cell. Marie, that's what I'm talking about. Get that shit. <laughs> and I curse when I'm passionate, y'all. So deal with it, all right? <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's that's amazing, Marie. That's awesome. Um, so clean house, right? Make sure your house is clean, and this is for you as well as for your children. So if your home is cluttered, it's an indication of a cluttered mind. Okay, that's what it is. It's telling you that something with your internal world needs some adjusting. So if you walk in your house and it's dusty, it's cluttered, it smells a little funky, <laughs> there's dirty dishes in the sink, it lets you know that your internal world is dusty, it smells a little funky, <laughs> you got dishes in your, in your mental sink. So clean your house. So that good loving energies can flow in, you know, negative lower level vibrations and energies love a messy home. So as soon as you clean your home, you can feel the energy shift like it should be immediate. Uh, make sure it smells good. Get your sage, your candles, your incense, uh, study feng shui. Um, feng shui, feng shui. Yeah, I said it right. Um, so that beautiful energies and abundance can flow through your home. You know, and that will benefit you and your children. Okay, make sure you're you're setting an environment for them to be their best selves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, take them out of these schools. Take them out of these schools. I'm actually really 
I'm really passionate about this school and this education thing and it's really because I am I love the pursuit of knowledge I'm a natural intellect like a lot of you guys are naturally um, intellectual you like to study things you like to gain knowledge um, so I heavily suggest you take your children out of these schools, y'all. Like, oh my God. Like, do you understand the level of programming and brainwashing that they're going through? Like, and they're getting an education. They're not necessarily getting something that can, they're not getting knowledge. Education doesn't mean knowledge. Education is just something that's repetitive that is forced into you. It's not really something that can even benefit you like for real like think about the things that you learned in your life in school and you're like yo i have no use for that shit like it's actually actually i forgot the shit okay so apply that to your children they're getting information that they do not need they're getting lies actually especially history and all sorts of stuff um even as it pertains to other sciences like biology and physics it yo they're being lied to all across the board I was thinking of opening a school home. Yo, do that shit. <laughs> like, yeah, like you, I'm a definitely cheerlead for that. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Do that. Um, so, yeah, take them out of these schools. You know, connect with this sis right here, this beautiful shining star. Um, to get information about her school, look it up online. There's um, groups on social media, Instagram and Facebook. I've seen them where, you know, parents parents are pulling their kids out of schools, y'all. Like, in mass numbers. And I don't think they're putting it on the news. I don't know the last time I turned on a TV. But um, if I tap in, I, I don't think they're putting that shit on the news. That parents in mass numbers are pulling their children out of these schools. So tap into that um google it find programs find something else there's always something else if you're able to educate your child at home yourself do it don't let anybody distract you i hear parents saying right now um well i could get in trouble if i don't take my kids to school you can also get in trouble for driving without a license but you do the shit you could get in trouble for not paying your car note but you do the shit too Cut the shit. <laughs> Cut the shit, y'all. All right? Like, I, I really have no tolerance for that shit. Cut it. Like, you do exactly what you want to do. Don't ever be afraid of any of these lower-level entities or energies or beings in this time and space. Like, what? <laughs> okay? Know who you are, okay? That ties back into knowing who you are and knowing that you have the power. They're ciphering your energy, your soul, and your magic. So who has the power? Parasites never have power. Stop giving parasites your power. Stop being afraid, oh, I'm going to get in trouble if I do what's best for me and my child. Baby, look, I'm going to let it go because, whoo, I felt my blood pressure rise, all right? So I'm going to bring it back down. <laughs> I'm going to bring it back down. But, um, yeah, don't, don't make those type of excuses around me. Don't. Because um, your children need to get up out of these schools. Period. You need to throw your TV away. Period. You know, you need to be a conscious eater and incorporate more raw foods into your life and your children's life. That's just period. That's that's where we at right now. Move with the times and you're going to get left behind. Oh, that rhymes. That was cute. I'm going to write that down, y'all. <laughs> Move with the times or you going to get, going to get left behind and that's just what it is or you'll be forced to repeat a cycle that you don't need to repeat all right so apply this information right here and right now um again connect with these groups these organizations connect with the sis right here who made the comment about opening the school um coming up with curriculums you know because they don't teach spirituality in our schools so they teach religion they don't teach spirituality, and we're spiritual beings having a human experience. So, you already know. You already know. Stop going to these stupid-ass PTA meetings and take your kids out the schools. All right? I'm really passionate about that. Um, yeah, y'all. That's, that's really... I think I touched on every topic. Um, with the little girls, I really want to say push for... Um, damn, my self-love creativity. Yo, I was just about to say, 
with these little girls push for the, their love of themselves and their natural hair. All that kinky curly shit. All right. Um, it, it's okay. I guess natural hairstyles, braids. I love a, a box braid, y'all. I was thinking about getting some box braids. Like, I love that shit. I don't consider that to be weave. Because that's really, that's ancient hairstyles. We always had box braids we always had extension or um faux locks this is the actual lock though that i kept in when i took my locks out but um so i really want to emphasize natural hair um natural hair styles so braids cornrows take take the other stupid ass weaves no judgment i could be a little blunt with my words but when it comes to these children your kid does not need a yakky jet black bra strap length weave like cut the shit like and teach them love of self self love um i want some lemonade braids yo i love i love me some natural hairstyles girl <laughs> i really do so yeah get those those are real cute real cute so um so yeah i pushed that with the children y'all um what else do i push with the children stop buying them these stupid ass name brand clothes too and sneakers who cares if your baby has Jordans on? Like, really? You could have took your ass right to Target <laughs> and got some good sneakers and invested more of your currency, your attention, your attention and your time into bettering your, yourself and your child spiritually and intellectually. So cut, cut that. Put all that dumb name brand shit up on eBay and sell it or give it away and really... It's raining heavy, y'all, right now. We're still in rainy season. I hope you guys can still hear me. Woo! I love the rain. I love the rain. So, um, I'm definitely wrapping this up anyway. But for that rain, yeah, I'm going to meditate during that. But, um, so yeah, get, get rid of all the stuff. Get rid of anything and everything that does not serve you or your child's, um, path. Anything and everything. If your house is cluttered, throw all of the shit away. Throw... Throw any old shit away, especially like if it's in storage or if it's in your basement, in your attic. That's just holding old energy and old vibrations that you do not need. That these things that cannot join you on your transformation journey. So declutter your home, declutter everything. Throw shit away. All right. Um, let me see. Did I touch on everything? Yeah, I think I did. I think I did um yeah i touched on everything so so that's it y'all if you guys have some ideas on how you know parents or anyone in general can tap into their spirituality or whatever leave that in the comments um i was also want to encourage y'all to shine your light as well i know a lot of y'all be shining your light i see you Especially my, I see you all the time, spreading that love and light. Yep, keep doing that shit. Um, and any of y'all who, who, you know, who haven't done that, I'm not saying you gotta get a YouTube channel and, you know, really do all of that. But if you want to share messages of love and light with people, share it. Okay. And I do want to let y'all know if you have a moment where, because it's not always love and light, right? That's not really the world we live in there's a lot of darkness and darkness does not mean evil so let's make that distinction we come from the dark it's not evil. dark is not evil but there's a lot of things going on right now so if you need to get brolic get brolic just because we're awakened doesn't mean we're, we're punks out here <laughs> just because we're awakened don't mean you can hit us with the okie doke okay a lot of us see you coming before you show up so so know that don't let anybody disrespect you or um anything manipulate you or anything like that but make sure you are walking in love light walk through your heart energy and, and shine that shit you know we make a difference out here us shining our light has the power to affect thousands of people and that's not ego that's what it is so so make sure you're doing that and um i love y'all y'all so dope why y'all so amazing <laughs> but yeah I, I do i do love y'all and i feel the love and i appreciate it um this video will be uploaded to my youtube channel nature girl neo check me out on instagram uh, nature girl neo send me messages i love to hear from y'all i really really genuinely do love to hear from y'all and and see what y'all got going on and 
really y'all inspire and motivate me and i love it i love it so much love you too sis so i'm gonna get up out of here i'm gonna enjoy this rain i might just go out and let it rain on me because that's a spiritual bath for that ass <laughs> the rain water yeah i think i'm about to do that so um so yeah this is it if this resonates with you share it um check me out on my instagram subscribe like and share and i'm finding out that if you do like a video on youtube it um it gets circulated to more people so if there is ever a video not even just mine but if there is ever a video that you resonate with on youtube like it that's just what i found out i had no idea but all right so so yeah i love y'all peace and love Mwah.